Hey guys, welcome back to Welcome to Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are on the LZ Alpha, coming up for a thousand cycles. Really looking forward to it. I don't think it's going to be this episode, but it is going to happen soon. Last time we were trying to cool down space, and we realized that we've got a whole host of issues here. Uh, one of them is the fact that we just that we don't have any power going. As you can see, we've got 8.7 kilowatts flowing through. It says a potential load of 4 kilowatts. Kilowatts, but do you know what? The fact that we have to have people on these manual generators are saying that maybe something has gone wrong there. So I think I'm going to come down here and take advantage of not this up here, but this little thing down here. We've got a hydrogen vent. We've got a hydrogen vent that is ready for usage. Uh, is this is this actually being done? It's unavailable right now. That's fine. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put three pumps. Let's do it. Let's let's just go ahead and put some of the stuff up here. I want to put three pumps. One of these will be exactly in line, and then the other two are going to be on either side. We're also then going to have our plumbing line. We're going to have a cooling radiator thing here. You know you know these things. We've built, built enough of these for them to actually uh, be functional now. You know, you know you know what they are. Uh, we're also then going to go ahead in the utilities. I want to have me a thermal aqua tuner. We're going to pop this down. What, over here? I think over here would be a good place for it. Uh, and of course, with that comes the need for a steam turbine. There we go. I had to find it somewhere. And I think we're going to put that... Here. Okay, there, there's the major pieces in play. I'm actually going to run another one of these radiant lines up and over here. Of course, we need to cool down the steam turbine. And I'm wondering whether we want to put some chill up this end. That one is a bit maybe, but the rest are definitely going to happen. To try and make a... Uh, a ooh, that the other thing I need to do. One more thing that would actually show what I'm doing here exactly. One, two, three of these. Beautiful. Oh, that's just... That is amazing. Hello, little more. How are you doing? We can't have you here. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Are you releasing? Yeah, look at this. Releasing uh, slime lung everywhere. I, uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. We're going to have to uh, do, do the evil. Do the evil. People are combating, but they're, they're all very far away, so it's going to take them a while to get out there. Also, polluted water all over the floor. What's going on with this? The toilet's, the toilet's working? The toilet's working. Okay, no worries. Wasn't really expecting Mad Frank to be the first one up here for this, but, you know, he's an aggressive chap, I suppose. This, this is how it's going to go. Legit and Jelly also doing their thing. No, that, that's it. They done? No. All right, cool. Fair enough. <laughs> one of the things that I knew was going to be an issue was all this salt water. So I've dug a little hole here. I was kind of hoping we could get down below this way, but it's okay. All, all the water is flowing somewhere, so that's the important bit. Oh, dear. Miss, miss might be in a little bit of trouble. I'm hoping someone will come along and uh, do these at a bit higher priority. Let's just turn the uh, turn the jobs up there and see if that actually gets done. Also, while you're at it, you need to be able to find out what temperature it is in here. Be free! <laughs> All right, we're going to try and dig out this hydrogen vent so that Forrest can actually reach it. I'm hoping we're not going to set it off. I think it's one of these two that covers up the, the like the actual venting tile, if you will. Because obviously where the uh, vent, the hydrogen vent is spread over these, what, eight tiles? Something like that, four on each side? Uh, it only releases gas from one specific tile. And I think it's this one here, but I'm going to leave this one covered as well, just in case. Of course, now the problem of how my dupes get around. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got, we got this under here. What's Mimi doing just stuck up there then? What are you doing, Mimi? Why aren't you going anywhere? Can you move down here? You can move down there. All right, you are literally just being idle for no reason. Fair enough. Maybe maybe you need to have that tile uncovered for the, the researcher to get to it. I think that, that might be the case. Let's see what happens when these get destroyed, whether they've suddenly got a new way. Yeah, okay, so it's going to actually have to be fully functional before we can send forest in here all right that's that's not the end of the world it is a little hot but it's not the end of the world oh no oh no miss is kind of stranded up here can we make sure someone takes this as the priority mad frank is on it okay that that's good what well i mean he kind of is on it i'm sure once he wakes up he'll get on it why are there no pending deliveries i most strongly disagree all right jelly is heading back out using mad frank's uh air suit by the looks of it okay that's that's cool actually that's cool Incidentally, the flow of gas is still pretty strong over here. It's a bit weird. They can come and stand on top of this ladder to get onto this ladder. Oh, no, it's not the ladder. I was like, why can't they get over? But, of course, 
It's because they don't have room here. What's going on is they can't get up and over this double block here, but they can walk up to the side and they're like, oh, I can't climb over there. I was tempted to take that block out, but I'm still scared, so I'm not going to. Uh, so we'll just we'll put these ladders in place instead, and then they can uh, get over and do what it is they need to do. All right, beautiful. I'm glad I had a chat with you about this, guys, because I would have just carried on with my false assumption. This has been a relatively event-free building, actually. I know I shouldn't say this because this is one thing that's guaranteed to like cause duplicate death or something like that, but actually, this has gone very well. I've, I've been sat here just watching this, being like, I've got nothing to talk about. We're, we're going we're gonna to have this built in the first five minutes of the episode. And I, I really wanted to stretch this out to the whole episode, but look at us now. And the one thing that might not be so uh, obvious is this pipe network that I'm putting in down here. I'm going to pump up the uh, priority now because I want to pump up all of this ethno. As you can see, we've got quite a collection down here and it's about 17 degrees. That's nice. I'd like to bring it down a little bit further, but I've found that ethno generally is quite a good, good liquid for this type of stuff. If we come down to the one that we've already got uh, up and running here, the hydrogen uh, vent. I, I don't think we're going to need these little drop-down markers anymore, just uh, drop-down heat distribution networks anymore, but just because of the way this has been working. As you can see, we've had a very, very chill ethanol over here, minus 70. And it's been cooling down the hydrogen incredibly well, in fact, to the point where it's actually cooling down the chlorine over here. And I'm wondering whether we can cause something similar over this way, but, but of course, where we've got water in the loop as well, we can only really bring it down to zero degrees. It's no problem. I got it, though. Okay, we've got a nice little situation here where Mimi has just come along and charged up this entire battery. This battery is then just going to pump out the liquid ethanol along this line that we have recently, very recently just got finished. It's going to bring it up and dump it all into this tank over here, which should, should give us a nice cold store to start bringing down the temperature of just about everything. Okay, whilst I get everybody to tidy up here, there's a few other considerations I need to, uh, to take into account here, like the waste gas. Where is the waste gas going to go? I was thinking that I was just going to vent it out... Uh, uh, in, into the local area, but I thought, no, that's that's actually probably a little of a silly idea. Let's instead dump it onto what I believe to be the waste gas line. Let's just follow it down and make sure that indeed, yeah, waste gas is right. Beautiful, beautiful. So we can just like plug it in straight to there and that should deal with that. The next thing we need to do is think about how we're going to kick start the system. And I think the thing I am going to do with this is to get my deconnect tool out uh, and deconnect the aqua tuner down here from its power source because we don't want to kick start that particular bit of the system. Also, we could probably do with a battery. There's a few places where we could do with some batteries here. I'm going to I'm going to start by putting one of them down uh, for the Oh, well, actually no, we've got a battery down here. We should be fine. We should be fine. Anyway, I've disconnected the thermal aqua tuner but connected up these go these pumps up up here. Uh, we're going to have to start thinking about emptying this area out as a vacuum. We're also going to have to think about it over here, but I want to get all the water delivered down here. As you can see, some people are super into it, but the uh, the sweep orders are taking priority right now, which is cool because there was a whole bunch of bleach stone uh, outgassing out. Look, you can see up here it is doing its thing. Uh, so I want that away from this area. Select for hydrogen. And how are we kickstarting that system? Well, you know how we're kickstarting that system. What a manual generator. Oh, it's disgusting, disgusting power. Speaking of, I'm a little worried about how much gas these uh, these pumps are actually shipping through. If we kind of take a little uh, hover over this tile here, you can see that we've only got 100 grams of hydrogen or so, and I'm almost certain it's going to be less over here. But of course, you know, it's a bit of a vacuum over this side, so we can't can't say for certain. 80 grams, something like that. I would really have liked to have put some sort of atmospheric sensor in there to get it up to a certain density. That's the word I'm looking for. A certain density to be able to pump out more efficiently, because as you can see, these are not making full use of what is being given to them, or rather, they are, and there's not more to give so I would yeah I think we're gonna take that into consideration up here I'm going to just under here throw down if we can get it an atmosphere sensor pop it there we'll connect all of them up together because if it's not a high enough atmosphere then I don't want any of them working uh, and we'll go I don't know 500 grams sounds great right of course, you know this is going to be the bit that pulls a vacuum right here, right? <laughs> as funny as that would be, it would also be a little concerning. Right, I've copied down this uh, igneous tile all the way down to here. I'm thinking about how we're going to get forest in and out of this area whilst the gas is flowing. I think we're going to do something like this. I also feel like maybe... Oh, it's the end of daytime. That's fine, that's fine. I also think that maybe we should use some wolframite. Maybe, maybe we should actually... Um, 
process the wolframite up and i just want to do some sort of like temperature shift plate here to try and like share the temperatures out and smooth it all down so that by the time it gets up to here we're not dealing with several hundred uh, degrees well it will be several hundred degrees but it'll only be a couple of hundred degrees as opposed to 500 degrees also what what happened to our ethanol supply is the battery dead over here all right we're gonna have to try and do something about that in the morning forest thinks he's starving forest what why 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 do you think you're starving I, i'm hoping it's just that you're thinking that toilets are more important than food um, but let's follow him around and see what happens. Maybe he can't get out. Maybe, maybe there's no, uh, no oxygen in his suits right now. Why did Ta Dr. Captain Subs just fall over straight there? I'm confused about what is making these guys... Look, that. That little thing. They're like, not enough steam, not enough temperature. But I... I kind of... Oh, look, we are. We're down to like 20 grams or so. Is this not... Oh, we got we got a couple of seconds to wait, but... Ooh, it's a bit more than I would have think. Okay, I've kind of butchered the idea of an entrance way here because I want to try and figure out a way of putting insulated tiles in here once the, uh, once the system is up and running. Once we've got everything sorted and this is all vacuumed out and everyone has, like, analysed everything and got the uh, got these building materials out and put the temperature shift plates in place i want to be able to uh, put some tiles in place and then rip down everything else and i think this is the way to do it we could take down these insulated tiles here and then through corner building build this way uh the iron door is not going to be great at stopping temperature come through but i think we'll be fine maybe Okay, so the loop was full, but we had more coming in from the uh, ethanol pool down below. It looks like it stopped, so that that's good. We'll uh, we'll do that. Uh, I have cut the the pipe in between the storage tank and this insulated pipe coming out towards the aqua tuna so that we can start building up an amount of ethanol in here. As you can see, it's actually quite warm, uh, so if we could get everything up and running before we start pumping it out and around the system again, that would be ideal. I also got a feeling I'm going to have to try and cool down these hydrogen generators off of this loop at some point. I suppose a liquid lock would actually have been the preferred way of doing this, but oh well, here we go. Let's try and get someone over here to start providing some power. Legit, my man, thank you very much to this up here. We really need to actually encourage that to get put into place. I didn't realize we were quite so behind, but I want to get all this polluted oxygen out of here anyway and put it into the system. Oh look, we've already, we've already got some hydrogen coming through. Happy days. <laughs> Well, it, it's not quite as I intended, but here comes the first, like, little bit of pa- No, no, oh, still still insufficient resources. Okay, well, at least we got a little bit there. Okay, so according to the oxygen not included wiki, you've got the tile that is second from the right, which I presume is this one, and second up from the leftmost edge, which seems a really we weird way of saying second tile up. So I think you can uncover that one. I, I really think I can uncover that one. We'll just see what happens when it does get uncovered. Uh, and, and hopefully, hopefully Forrest can get in there and do some stuff. Though, honestly, this last Wolframite plate is almost in place. So may, maybe we'll be good there. Why is it getting decontaminated? Uh, who cares? There's some bugs there. That's why. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, look at this place. Oh, 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 look at this place. Let's put a deodorizer there for now, shall we? Let's see if that works. Okay, the next thing I need to worry about is how do I get a vacuum pulled inside this area? And I think you can see my plan here. I think it's going to work. I hope it's going to work. Uh, let's just throw down any jumbo battery over here. And do we need a conductive wire? We don't even really... Ah, oh, let's, let's just do it anyway. We've got a bunch of lead lying around, so let's connect these together up and through there. There was a problem there for a moment, but it's disappeared, so I, it couldn't have been that important. I think maybe two air tiles was too much. Let's, uh... Let's just restrict it to one. For no reason other than I uh, I want to be able to swap out that tile quickly when we've pulled a vacuum in there. That's that's actually my big problem there, uh, my big concern. Okay, it's looking good. We've got nowhere for the gas to go. Oh, what a fool. Of course we've got nowhere for the gas to go. I'm thinking we're just going to append it onto the end of here. Uh, we, we should obviously... Oh, no, not liquid bridge. Lol. Uh, we should obviously use a bridge to connect to so we don't end up swamping any systems. Uh... Probably not necessary, but it's always nice to uh, err on the side of caution when you've got a base that's two steps away from falling apart at any one time. Okay, now the real question is, is a single jumbo battery enough to pump out all the gases in here? I personally don't think so, but we'll find out. Well, we'll never know because Mad Frank thought it was uh, low enough to come and top up, which means it was at least halfway right. If we have a look at the... Oh, Frank, you're in the way. If we have a look against the recharge threshold, it is 50%, so let's, let's bring that down to 10 uh, and see if we get another top up I, I i don't know i'm again kind of expecting so oh guy oh guys 
Do you know how long I've been playing this game and I've only just noticed that this big scoopy thing up here is an intake. Look at it, it's like a vacuum cleaner nozzle. Like this is the bit you drag along the floor. Ah, uh, why is it taking me so long to even see that? I thought it was just like some sort of hood that was moving out of the way as the pumping was happening. But no, look, the, 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 the lines of air are definitely moving up and into that. Yeah, oh, why is it taking me so long? Well, there you go. If you guys hadn't seen that, there we go. I've just, I've just shown you. <laughs> so the gas is getting picked up by this, passed through this, uh, passed through this pipe. Where is it going? Where is it going? It's coming to here. Okay, so it's going picked up, passed through, and then the pipe gets passed off. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's cool. So this is just doing a pump down here. All right. And for those of you wondering, battery dead. Did almost get rid of all the oxygen though. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Let's not open that, shall we? I'm going around taking out all the, the ethanol line here that we'd put into place because we don't need it anymore, honestly, and moving the materials around would probably be a much better use of my duplicate's time. All right, let's do that. Beautiful, beautiful. How's the gas uh, pumping going? St still waiting on... No, oh, no, we're doing all right. We're about half the oxygen that we had when I went, oh, we've nearly got rid of all the oxygen, though. Uh, oh, just as I was saying, I didn't want you to go in there and do that. All right, well, whilst you're there, like, do that. Carl, maybe, maybe I did want to leave it double open. Of course, I can't get in there now without inducing a massive backflow that I don't think it's going to be able to deal with. That was one of the reasons why I only wanted to have a small tile there. Was when the when the duplicate comes up to try and seal it in, the air that flows in through here, the pump should hopefully be able to pick up. Hope, but you know what's actually going to happen is the duplicate's going to just stand here trying to deal with it, and it's it's not going to work, is it? Oh no, how long has this been going on? So I've just noticed that our not, uh, not element sensor down here. What are you picking up? Let's uh, let's do this again. Carbon dioxide, the not carbon dioxide sensor down here has been in water for a little bit. I wonder how low of pressure the base is right now. This, this one, which one is it? F1, I thought it was F1. Uh, there we go. Oh, it's um, a very high pressure in here, is it? <laughs> okay, we've settled back down into a possible holding pattern. We've got a little bit of carbon, uh, not carbon dioxide, sorry, a little bit of chlorine that keeps trying to come in and muscle into this corner, but I'm all right with that. That is that is almost exactly what, why we set up this system. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. It's fine. Ooh, well, well, well. At some point, conductive wire has been put in here. The wrong type of conductive wire. Oh, look, I can see why as well. We, uh, somehow need to get in and do that. Oh, it's going to be hard. I think maybe through the underside. Oh, I really didn't want to. We might even have to set up a dreaded liquid lock. All right, yeah, I'm going to deconstruct this. We're going to send the ladder down. I'm going to try and dig up and under here. In fact, just like this, we're going to go there and there. And maybe another one of these. I, th I think a duplicate should be able to get in under there. And then we can uh, rip down these two tiles and get up and under and fix this, right? That that should hopefully work. Man, this is loud. We got in too close, I think. Too, too close. Given the way it's come up and underneath this iron ore here, I'm really glad I didn't just use the insulated tile. That, that could have been very interesting as we just like flood all this with ethanol, which would like instantly flash into steam, question mark. In fact, why, why has that not happened? I bet there's some ethanol steam here somewhere. Not yet. How, how high is the temperature? I'm a little worried about that. Let's, uh, let's try and get these all fixed as soon as possible, shall we? What's going on with the wire? What is, miss a line, please. Okay, you're on your way. Okay, now I'm a little bit desperate to get this lead out of here, and then we'll be done. Oh, wait, can we, uh, this one, maybe? This is a sweep only. Oh, go, go, go. That was probably a very bad idea, actually. Oh, that's right. Some people are coming for it. That, that's good. That's good. I was a little bit worried that I'd actually send everybody downstairs to go pick up other things that are marked for sweeping. But no, we're good. We're good. It's fine. I wish they'd kind of get the stuff up there, though. Oh, <gasps> shove vol leg. Do you reckon we can put that somewhere? I was super worried we're going to have big issues there, but no, we can't, it kind of worked out all right for us. Do I want to cover this up? Yeah, let's cover this up. Maybe a pneumatic door? How hot or cold is it out here? Yeah, let's use a pneumatic door. That way people can get up and down, but we can also do stuff. All right, that's cool. Uh, the, the stuff, of course, being put another one of the generators down. Oh, we're down to such slow flow. Look at it lazily flow into here, but it doesn't even fill up the area before the pump's like, oh yeah, I can get rid of this. Uh, but it's oh, 72 micrograms. I don't know how small a number we need to get down, down to, single figures at least. Oh, this is going to take a while. Every time I watch one go through, it does take more than one from each tile, but... Um, 
it's still really slow. Like, really slow. Oh, oh. We might be at the bit now where it can't support gas flow, and so it starts deleting stuff. Are we there? Are we actually finally there? I think we might be there. Let's just wait and see if more gas flow happens. It'd be really good to see it come up and over. I didn't think chlorine was heavier than a vacuum, but we might be. We might be actually there. Oh, look, did you see it spread out? It spread out. We've definitely lost some. All right, let's try and think about how we're going to get, if I can do this, how we're going to get this insulated tile into that position right there. I'm going to do it just through the power of the yellow alert. And let's see what happens. I'm really, really hoping, because we've got power in the jumbo battery, that when this door opens, and if they just stand here, I'm, I'm literally just going to throw a fit. Um, I'm really hoping that the pump will then pick up the gas. That, that, that's all I'm hoping for. That's all I'm hoping for. Who is on it? Jelly and Luna. That's not the mad Frank I was hoping for. Let's actually just go nine. And we'll wait and see what happens. We'll wait and see what happens. Maybe even move these guys. Because I don't I don't want underqualified people dropping stuff off like that, you know? Go 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 and enjoy your downtime, guys. Go and enjoy your downtime. We'll do it tomorrow, bright and early. Okay, we got a problem. Our chlorine is not being used up, so it's not letting the gases flow. I thought it was an, a power issue. It turns out not. What could we possibly... Uh, it goes up over this way, doesn't it? We, we know what we do with chlorine, but we're just not doing it. Let's have a look. F7. Is there a way of getting it over there? <sighs> not really. I'm, I'm sure we can. Let's, uh, let's try a bit of this. We're going to go for the ventilation. We're going to go for the gas bridge. We'll just jump over. Uh, literally right onto there. Yeah, what, what could go wrong with that? Okay, next question. How do we get it out of here? We'll just go for the split, right? Yeah, that, that sounds good. Maybe jump it up and over here. No, that's that's not right. That's not right at all. Maybe down, down? Yeah, all right, that, that seems better. Okay, Mad Frank is in there. He's made a delivery. Let's see what... Oh, he's filled it back up. This is unacceptable. Even though it's five grams, it's just, it's just too unacceptable. Um, what's going on here? Mimi is going to just... Hmm, maybe we need to extend where the door is. You know what I'm saying? If we pull it all the way back here... I don't I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Yo, Mimi, what are you doing? Stop! Ah, uh, no, no, now is not the time. We need to put this right down to a one. We need to get Mimi and we need to walk her over here. No, now is not the time. How do I stop people going through like that? Okay, there we go. I think we could probably call this episode Twitchy's slow reasoned acceptance of the uh, of the liquid lock. We've got a vacuum in this section here, and of course we now want to make this tile a solid one. I have got two separate chambers to walk through, so hopefully, given their relatively low grammage in each uh, each block here, they're going to smear out their their contents over here. I thought I had some hydrogen up here. Nope, looks like that's disappeared. All right, cool. Uh, hopefully that would then smear out the contents here. And when it gets over here, not be so much to deal with. I don't know. We'll just have to see what uh, I'm assuming Frank is going to do. Why, why is it unreachable? I haven't locked any of these, have I? Oh, wait, I did. This one. No. Okay, Mad Frank, here he comes. It's good that he is indeed the build master himself. He is the fastest for said job. He doesn't look like he's wanting to do it. Oh, he's going to go get the materials for in here. Didn't know there were any. Look, look, there's some more down there. Wow, I was fairly sure we had swept all that up, but, you know, there's hid hidden resources everywhere in this game. Okay, there is definitely power in that battery. Yep, I can see that there. Let's, uh... Let's watch the flow of gas as we go here, shall we? I'm, I'm really worried about what's going to happen for this next one. All right, go, Frank, go. Uh, yeah, let's just watch it. There's nothing else we can do other than just watch, right? Uh, all right, he's in, he's in. And look at the way that just spread out like that. That's painful, painful. What happens if we just kind of lock in there for a second? Frank, are you... Let's move him. Let's move him over here. I don't think we're going to be able to pump all of this out. But we're, we are down into the, the milligrams. If I could just keep, keep moving Frank, this might be able to do this is, this, is, this is not this is not a winner <laughs> all right whatever we'll, we'll let it, we'll let him do this now i suppose with uh, such a small amount of uh, gases on display we'll just accept that all right next thing i'm going to do we're going to connect this back up to the main system and we're going to see what happens when we let it roll
Oh, look, in instant power, off it goes. Uh, let's also, F6, have a look at this. I need to reconnect this and this together. There we go. All right, this should now be pumping out solid amount. Well, not solid, because that, that that's uh, solid ethanol. We're not after that. But it should be pumping out amounts of uh, of liquids here. What, I've, just, I've just noticed this. This is... Wait, what's going on here? How has this happened? Why, why have we backed up? Where is all this this petroleum come from wait what okay let's go and stop the flow because we're obviously got a little bit too much it's this one here right what i'm gonna do is just snip this for now uh, and if we need it we'll come back wow okay all of that could have been power all of that should have been power let's get some people down here to use these quickly and uh let's see what happens let's see what happens Okay, what I'm hoping is these guys will provide power, yep, for this liquid filter down here. This should then start providing petroleum for our good friend, the petroleum generator over there. And hopefully some sort of feedback loop will start where it's uh, powering itself. But, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see on that. Okay, this this looks healthy. I like this. I like this a lot, actually. I suppose that only really leaves us with one thing left to do and deal with the fallout of. Let's dig that, that little tile of granite there. Let hyd uh, let sorry <laughs> let hydrogen at the forest. No, let forest at the hydrogen vent. Uh, let him do some analysis and uh, see if we can actually get some power out of this. That would be great. This is going at over a gram now. We want it at over two hundred grams. Let let's see with oh, 300, 300, because there's three pumps, right? That's that's the way that's going to work. These guys can pick up three hundred grams a second or thereabouts, right? Five hundred grams a second. Oh, maybe I do need to put this up to five hundred. Got to make sure it's pumping a reasonable amount, right? Okay, here comes Mr. Come Do the Dig. I'm wondering how much stuff got thrown up. Okay, the hydrogen is going. This is good. Are we boiling anything yet? Yeah, I'm a little bit worried that that's going to be an instant problem. But let's uh, let's see what's going on here. Oh, no, it's relatively chill. The temperature shift plates are sharing the temperature around. Of course, we need to make sure we get that. Uh, things are being picked up. Let's press F7 and have a look at the train of gas that is coming out here. All right, nice. No, actually looking very, very good. I'm hoping that these guys can power these guys. Uh, and then we'll just just let this do its thing over this side, yeah? Okay, so far so good. Uh, we are able to pump through enough gas to keep all three hydrogen generators going. Every time it hits 100%, it knocks itself back down to 70. That's keeping it way above the 20 that we have as a threshold for this manual generator. And also providing enough, uh, enough power for the cooling over here. So this should be working out pretty well. All in all, I think we're doing very well. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, This so this is getting cooled, this is doing the cooling, this is, uh, I mean, it is warming up over here, but this is fine, let's have a look, we're coming in at 6 degrees and we're leaving at 20, that's actually a little bit too much, I think, but yeah, that, that's fine, hopefully, hopefully, the system will deal with it as it, uh, as it cycles round. The reason that I'm like, oh, that's a little too much is obviously the, uh, thermo aqua tuner over here removes 14 degrees exactly and if we're picking up 20 oh i don't know so we're going at six minus actually that's good oh no is that one too many 21 minus six uh it's the 0. 0.6 that makes it awkward i, th I think we might be like 0. 0.4 too much 0. 0.4 degrees too much but then the downtime will uh will be able to cool that down more right as long as it doesn't go above 70 we should be fine has it gone dormant Oh, no, it says, all right, it says idle. It's just I've not seen it do anything for so long. Uh, let's have a look. 329 out of 600, uh, less than half the time is when it's active. That's uh, That could be better, actually. Honestly, that, that could be a lot better. I always forget how long it takes to analyze these things. Okay, so I've been copying out these designs here. Yeah, of course, this will be open for all. Uh, so this one says, hey, if it's below 100, send out a green signal. And that green signal should actually get everywhere. So if we just come along and uh, connect these like this, I'm a little bit worried that we're actually not going to be able to connect these. But if I do those two first, then it should work out for us. And I'm hoping someone will come along and fix these. Now that it's saying, hey, I'm below 100 grams, it should want to open all of the doors here. When it gets enough in there to Hey, hey, slam down that door again. All the doors will shut. But of course, we've got this little mechanism at the top that we do have uh, in other places, most notably down at the petroleum boiler. Uh, and this will open this door if a red signal gets sent through after a little while. Uh, it will close it down and open it back up, create a vacuum in the middle. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be wonderful. It will be wonderful. Creating a uh, vacuum seal, a heat seal is the important part. Where, where are you going, Jelly? I mean, cool, but where are you going? <laughs> I mean, that's very hot in there. I think what we might want to do, I think what we might want to do is do this and set up uh, both a temperature 
and maybe move this hydro sensor to here. Yeah, yeah, I think that a lot, actually. Oh, analysis complete. Beautiful. That means we get to do this and this. Now, let's see what it actually tells us about this. Next dormancy in 60 cycles. Beautiful, beautiful. 86 cycles every 135. That's also good in the eruption period, less than half as we had previously discussed. All right, that's, that's actually really cool. Now, the real question is, can we even get in here like this? We're just we're just going to have to hope, right? I mean, hope, hope is not really how I like to run a colony, but here we are, doing it again. Okay, talking of unintended consequences, we need to get there and get this oxygen out. Let's have a look in here. You can see that it's all across the top. So what I need to do is basically tidy and empty all of this out. Put down a pump that's a much more resistant to heat ventilation gas pump. Of course, we're going to go steel. Which other one would we go for? Okay, we got we got a lot of the oxygen out. Is that enough, though? I think it might be. Let's, let's just do it. If more falls out, great. If if it doesn't, it's a shame. All right, we did it, guys. We did it. A pure steam atmosphere in there. There's a bit of salt on the floor. Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> do kind of care about the steam coming out of the of here and, and getting destroyed. So let's uh, let's deconstruct that. It's uh, kind of kind of doing damage on the pipes, and I'm not I'm not really about that. Though at the same time. I, we can deal with it. It's just a repair job, right? Is this more steam getting just passed down? All right, it's fine. As I say, it's it's just a repair job. Do you think I have a, an exhaustion problem, guys? They, they all come and put their atmosphere suit on for charging. And then whilst they do so, they have a quick quick nap because it's the only time they get to sleep. Yeah, may, maybe we should figure something else out here. Okay, I think the big problem we've got right now, at least until things work out how we want, is actually this line here. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna cut it. We're just gonna cut that like that. I'm gonna grab some of this insulated line. We're gonna pull it across there. But unfortunately, nighttime has just been called. So how are we gonna get this done straight away? Uh, through abuse. I mean, obviously, how else would we do it? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That damage is being done. This is exactly what I was worried about. Well, at least we know how to get people in and out of there, right? Let's, let's do that now. Oh, please. I need I need you to be cooked. Uh, I need you to be done. Not cooked. I need you to be done. All right. Cut, so someone. Red alert. It's red alert time because it really is red alert time. Not sure that we're getting quite enough hydrogen to keep this running. Like We're doing very well at chilling the, uh, the ethanol down, but not quite as far as I would really like to. And we still need a duplicate to come up and uh, manually turn this generator every now and then. As you can see, it's uh, not now by schedule. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's have a look and see what's going on. Yeah, up here we are pumping a little bit every now and then of hydrogen. But of course, now that this is dead, it's not going anywhere. Hmm... I was thinking about having one of those power-free, not gate to event uh, systems here, but I, I, I think that actually that would cause us issues, mainly by dumping hot gases up here. That that would be the big issue, but it would be power-free. Uh, I'm hoping someone's just going to come along here and deal with it. Look, Mimi's already saying that she's going to come along and deal with it, and that should then start this, and then hopefully get some, uh, some hydrogen back up, and then that'll be wonderful, right? Let's have a look. Wouldn't it be great if we put a tank down the end of here, or maybe just uh, intercepted a tank here somewhere? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Because as you can see, it can produce more hydrogen than can be consumed, like like right now, for instance. And all the stuff that is backing up here, we should really be putting into a tank. Okay, this will possibly be one of the most awkward things I've ever done, but let's try it anyway. We're going to put down a tank all the way down here. Let's put an airflow tile underneath it. Uh, F7, I want to take this line of gas pipe from here. Let's just bring it down. This is the in, that is the out and we'll connect that one like that. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Then when that gets built, all we'll do is we'll snip this across here, let the gas drain out of this bit, and then deconstruct it. What's overheated? Something's just overheated. What? I don't I don't understand. It's the large power transformer. Have I made it out of lead? I've made it out of lead. Let's just deconstruct that quick. If you're not aware, overheat temperature of 55 anyway could get up to that in my base. That's, uh, yeah, let's try and make it out of gold or something instead. I'm not sure what would be a better one. Right, we had a large power transformer. I don't guess it's going to be iron. All right, fair enough. We're out of steel. We should try and figure out what's going on with that. Okay, I think this is working actually quite well. As you can see, there's a little green bar down below. We've got about seven kilos in there right now. This is kind of like a battery, if you will, apart from it's storing hydrogen rather than uh, power, but it is going to be turned into power, and that'll be for like to cover the downtime and stuff like that, to, to cover the draw from the thermal aqua tuner when these guys are turned off because there's not enough uh, atmospheric uh, gas in there. Yeah, I think I think actually that's going to work out incredibly well. Let's just have a quick look at this. Uh, the gas mix 
mixture is fine. Are we getting too hot down here? No, actually, I think we're getting inc going incredibly well. Let's just quickly have a look at the temperatures going on out here. We got we got the 30s. Uh, we got a 20 and a 30, 20.6 and 33.9. I mean, that would be 20, uh, 34.7 if it was going to be too much temperature. And, you know, that's that's not 34.7 up there. I think we're doing okay. Hmm, we're out of hydrogen. How did that happen, do you reckon? This guy has gone idle. There's, he's just not quite giving out enough, is he? Uh, I gotta level with you guys. I gotta level with you. I don't think we put this in the right place. Should we uh, just go ahead and rip all of these down and this one over here? Yeah, let's let's go nuts. Let's go nuts. Okay, I think that's everything in place. These guys are going around ripping this lot down. That's fine. That gives me a chance to explain what's going on here. So we are controlling everything with these three batteries. This one at the end here, by far the easiest to explain. All it's doing is connecting to these hydrogen generators. If, by some slim miracle, we have got to the point where these batteries are fully charged and we are wasting power, they will turn the hydrogen generators off. If you can't tell by my tone of voice, I don't think that's ever going to happen. Because when we get to 60% charge, this power transformer here will start passing power from this main spline, which all the generators are fixed into, by the way. Uh, we'll turn this on and start draining some power. The second one will get turned on when we get up to 85%. I believe this first one to not actually uh, put us into power deficit, but I believe the second one will. Uh, everything is being passed through these power transformers first and foremost at the top that powers the thermal aqua tuner and of course the battery here. But we have a little bit of a situation where we need to turn turn this on. Uh, no one could, could, could someone come and someone Come and, come and power this so we can get some gas out. Thanks. Hopefully this will be the last time we actually need to get anybody into there. And in fact, to be sure, we're going to bring this down to about 30%. I suppose what we could do, actually, let's bring this up to 70 and let's bring this up to 60. Quite a narrow band. I think that's kind of important. Uh, and then this, when it's at 50, will be like, hey, guys, I, I, I need a top up. Again, I'm hoping that that doesn't ever happen. Right now, this gas is being passed around. Uh, very shortly, it should be the situation where I can just get forest off of there. Uh, already, we are... Oh, we're not. We're not building any power right now. Let's just double check and see why. It should be a thing. We've got two of them firing. That's then 16 uh, watts. That, that should be more than enough. Why are we not forming power there we go all right okay i'm not i'm not sure what actually did it but all three are now firing that's fine we're going to start building up power i'm going to see if ever we even go over this 70 percent. i don't think so what's 70 percent of 20 let's work that out oh wait we can we can work that out easy way because if it was like 10 percent of 10 uh sorry if it was seven 70% of 10, it would be 7, 2 of those, 14. So we're well over. We're, just, we're already making a draw. This is now drawing out as well. So we're actually dumping more and more in power still. Let's get Forrest off of there. Let's see if he's actually the man adding to that. And let's see Let's see how the power situation goes still. It's still uh, no, up, down, down, going down. In fact, we've stabilized out. Let's see if it just runs. Because, of course, we've also got this steam turbine over here. They're outputting a constant 2 kilowatts right now. This is beautiful. Whilst these two lights are off, the power is flowing. When this one turns back on, we're only outputting 1 kilowatt. Um, that, that is correct. Let's just double check over here. Yeah, transformer, 1 kilowatt. Beautiful. So now that this light has come back on, uh, it probably shouldn't be doing that. Oh, this one also wants to go to 60. Let's turn this up to uh, 65 so it turns off first. I think for the next couple of cycles, I actually want to run this down into dry. So if I go down to zero, go above zero, these guys should then fire up. I want to try and get the oxygen out of here, if I'm to be honest with you guys. And the, the amount of time this guy spends idle, we should be able to do it just before we wrap up this episode. Why are you telling me zero? No, seriously, don't do not do that. Wow, what, what a vacuum. What a vacuum. Yeah, we knew this was going to be an issue. Um, the main reason being, once I've got rid of all the oxygen, any gases that aren't supposed to be in here, I could quite easily just pass this line up and across here. In fact, I'm going to build an extra support network just like that so I can snip this and pull this one down here, and then we'll be passing all the neat hydrogen down and through. But of course, first, we need that neat hydrogen. It's full of oxygen right now. 
That's unfortunate. I really, really do need to remember that it would be on the left-hand side. If I put it here, this atmosphere sensor would be actually reading off the atmosphere and continuing to go. Instead, we get this, like, stutter effect. It's not a big problem, but it's kind of annoying. You know, three pumps are fast, but are they going to be fast enough to get there before this hydrogen vent erupts? I don't know, to be honest with you. It's gone down incredibly quick. It really has. Something like uh, from from four or five grams down to this. No, I think it might have even been more than that. Something like 20. But, you know, it's, it's gone down really fast. But is it going to be fast enough? Are we going to have a hydrogen infusion? Doesn't really matter because it will get quiet again. But it would still be nice to clear it out in one go. Ah, uh, it's a great shame, but it looks like the hydrogen's getting ready to go in about five seconds. Let's speed that up just a little bit and see how it goes. Uh, we didn't even get down to the micrograms, we're just down into the milligrams, and bam, it all gets pushed down here. I mean, that's that's quite a lot. We're still... I mean, we don't have much oxygen down here. Why did that... Why did Dr. Captain Subs come down here? You, you were not needed. I really wanted this to only be turning off between 190%. Might even bring these thresholds closer together. Let's just always have at least 80% charge in the bank, shall we? Should stop us needing additional dupe power. Hopefully, hopefully. I tell you what those dupes can do, though. Get sweeping. Okay, whilst we're trying to uh, completely empty this, should we go for another experiment? I, th I think that's a good idea. If we do that, right, we can uh, divert some of the liquids out and end up not having to fill this pipe. This will then end, end up meaning that we're not getting as much temperature out of here. I'm hoping this won't mean that the gas is too hot. I think that actually means that we're still chilling down as much, but the hydrogen will not be picking up as much temperature. The reason that I want to do this is because over here we have another area where we actually want to try and cool down some 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 liquids. Uh, if I do that, how much temperature are we picking up? 17 to 27. That's that's a lot. I don't know whether we can keep up with that. Oh, maybe just the one. Oh, I didn't I didn't mean to do that, but that might work. That might work. And then it also bring down the temperature here a little bit, and that would be much much better. Okay, let's let's compare Let's compare temperatures at the beginning here. All right, we're at nine degrees. Uh, so 14 up from that is like 13.8. Oh, no, we might be in trouble here. Why isn't there power left to turn this lot back on? I'm not I'm not sure why that's done that. Let's F2. Yeah, no, it's saying go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happened here. Why did it totally drain it? This, this totally drained it, but why? There's legitimately no way of pulling that extra heat out there. That That's a real shame. That is a real shame. Okay, we're going to have to figure this out in a different manner. I am going to put ourselves a liquid bridge up and over this. I'm going to drag this over thuswards. Uh, we're going to cut all this out. and We're going to have to come up with our own solution, a different solution for cooling this down. And I think we're probably just going to end up building another one of these over here and uh, cooling that down like that. But that is definitely a task for another day. Slammed a battery in up here, so when these are totally empty, there's a backup for the pump and the gas filter. Though, now that I'm looking at it, there does not appear to be any oxygen left inside this system here. So I think I'm going to grab that, pull this down here, go boop, and of course... To round it off, we really need to destroy these here. Normally, I'd get rid of the bit of uh, gas pipe there, but as I've got this mod, I'll just uh, pull it across. No problem. Miss, what are you, what, what are you even here for? What are you even here? Let's turn... Let's, uh, it's because it's up on a nine. Let's turn that right down. It's, it's not that important that you come up here and do this. In fact, let's turn this down to like 25. I've been watching this for a few cycles now, both uh, the, the colonies and its, as it is like, you know, 600, it's about a cycle, uh, just a little bit over. And all in all, I think mostly this has been worth it. We do get a steady output of at least one kilowatt uh, and maybe, maybe getting a little bit more. But oh, it's a bit slow. There is definitely like half the day this is down and just not doing anything. And the rest of the time, this Thermo Aqua Tuna is just eating all the power. It's a bit of a weird system we found ourselves in here, but I am glad we did it because it's definitely feeding enough power for other areas with the base. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where I want to start heading towards space. This is definitely the thing that I want to be doing. 
doing, but of course we need to do some more things in the background. Uh, now that we've got petroleum coming out quite well, uh, and we've got some cold, and we're starting to get the space area sorted, it might actually be time to start thinking about digging a silo somewhere where we can start building a rocket, but I will see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye!